<sighs> Man, I'm freezing. What are the chances I can bring this out to the ring with me? Zero. But you should be plenty warm out there with all the hot air you produce. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't have a bigger career with singers like that. <laughs> Hi, sorry I'm late. I had to make like seven connections to get here from Orlando. Oh, hey, Peyton. No problem. I appreciate you doing me this favor. Red and Trey, this is Peyton Royce. We met when she trained here in Calgary, and now she recently signed with NXT. So who am I facing tonight? And by the way, it's cold enough to freeze the tail off a brass kangaroo. Can I have this heater out there for my match? Oh, sure thing, Peyton. What? You'll actually be facing Red tonight in her first ever match. Wow, it, it's an honor. We actually watch you on NXT all the time. And at least when my friend Trey here isn't hogging the laptop and watching weird videos of who knows what. <laughs> She's kidding. I told you to stay out of my browser history. Wait, did you say this is her first ever match? Yeah, Red's only been training for about three months, but don't take her lightly, she's really good. Three months? It took me longer than that to get here. And what kind of stupid name is Red? If anything, with your lack of experience, you should call yourself Green. <laughs> what? Anything she says with that accent is funny. After I'm done with you tonight, you'll understand why they call me Red. Because all that pretty white snow out there will be stained red with your blood. And then every time it snows, the children who were here tonight will be reminded of the carnage they saw and refuse to go outside. And after you spend weeks in the hospital and are finally able to drag your broken body onto the airplane back to Orlando, the pilot will be so terrified by the sight of your mangled face, he will lose control of the plane, sending it crashing down to the earth whoa, and- Whoa, 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 whoa. I think she got the point. You have major issues. Uh, what the heck was that? The old hothead red comes out when she gets angry. We've been working on dialing it back. I like the intensity, but just focus that on your match, okay? And if you can take a break while you're painting the snow red with Peyton's blood, maybe stop and soak everything in. This is your first match after all, which is a big deal. It's on our list. Sorry, you're right, and I'm happy you'll be out there with me. I'm gonna go stretch. Should I tell anyone with kids to leave? Nah, she'll be fine. I hope. to Winterfest 2015. As always, I'm your host, Gord Wilson.
We'd like to thank our local sponsors, Second Head Dukes, Larry Zamboni Driving School, and of course, Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And bring your ticket stuff to Riley's for a free picture of Mr. Flash himself, after purchase of a commemorative frame for only $19.95. Good day, Peyton. Uh, koalas are cute, but they have terrible personalities, kind of like you. I, and uh, 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 the Great Barrier Reef is more like the just okay Barrier Reef. And, 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 and boomerangs are a sham. They never come back when you throw them. Uh, I really don't know that much else about Australia. Uh, oh, 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 your chain of steakhouses is severely overrated. is originally from Australia, but spent a bit of time training here in Canada. I wonder if she now says, good day, eh? That was awesome! It was everything I've ever dreamed of. 
<laughs> I'm numb with excitement, or maybe I'm just frozen, but either way, I get to cross two things off our list. And you did it without emotionally scarring any children. <laughs> Wrestle first match and win first match. Nice of your mate to help you out there tonight. Maybe if I see you again, I'll have some backup too. I look forward to it. By the way, I didn't really mean any of the things I said out there, especially about you having the personality of a koala. You're way more pleasant, and I'm actually a big fan of your people's blooming onions. You're a total bogan. Wait, is that a good thing? I don't think so. Congrats on your first win, Red. I knew you wouldn't let me down. And you're not going to either, Trey. What do you mean? It's been a last minute change of plans. My surprise opponent for tonight was injured. Is that who I think it is? That's right. It's me, the King of Cuteville, Prince Pretty. Unfortunately, I slipped on some ice and stubbed my turning toe. Your turning toe? Yes, the most important toe, EI. The toe one uses to turn on a runway. Ugh, I can't stand non-models. Anyway, it's a shame all these uggos here tonight will no longer get to see me compete against Riley Flash. Not that it would have been much of a contest. I mean, Look at this man. I have let myself go. He couldn't lace my boots on his best day. To be fair, some of my finer boots are slip-ons that don't have any laces, but you get the point. Anyway, Trey, I need you to take Tyler's place against me. I... I thought you said I wasn't ready. You're not, but I liked what I saw from you out there during Red's match, and also I don't have any other options. All right, I'll do it. First match. <laughs> Do you want a picture to commemorate this moment? That'd be great. <laughs> Nailed it. I'll post it for you. Hashtag mmm gorgeous. You know about fashion. Obviously. Go on. Well, I already went out there once tonight, so I want a different look for my match against Riley Flash. Do you have any last minute suggestions? Ah, the classic quick change, as we models call it. Well, when I look at you, I see three options that fit the theme and location of this show. Who wore it better? I'm kidding. We all know I did. Good luck, Prince Not-So-Pretty. Wow, that's an interesting look. You don't like it? It's fine. It's just that maybe you should worry about the actual match, you know? I know you don't like to hear it when it comes from Riley, but he has a point. You might be too focused on everything other than what happens inside the ring. People remember cool entrances and costumes. Entertainment is what makes wrestling great. Wrestling makes wrestling great. Well, there's more than one way to thread a needle. Actually, there's only one opening on a needle, so... Whatever, you know what I mean. Anyway, what's more important is you're going to have your first match. So have a great one. And entrance, too. Thanks.
for Robert Flash taking on Trey. surprise opponent that Winterfest paid big bucks for? If you're a little confused, you're not alone. Even though you were a problem, this is turning into a real kerfuffle. What's he doing, eh? Help! Help! My tongue's stuck! Come on, I need some hat! Coco! Yeah! Hey, hold on! Come here! Help me out! Come here! Come on, help me! Ah! But will he make it back into the ring before the ten count? Nine! Injured tongue and all, this match will continue. We saw Trey out here earlier in Red's corner, but he looks a bit different now. And I'll leave it at that. Flash has wrestled the who's who of popular superstars throughout his career. He never actually beat any of them, but who's keeping track? I want to thank everyone for coming out to the show. And also, it needs to be said that I had two students who had their very first matches tonight. Red, who beat Peyton Royce earlier. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? And now Trey, who had a good effort on short notice, but got a little bit ahead of himself. We'll work on his counting. Trey, I'd let you have the mic, but I think you might be a bit tongue-tied. Give it up one more time for Trey.
What a night! I'm thinking Pavones to celebrate. Isn't that place super expensive? It's on me. Well, technically my parents, but we deserve it. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Now get that heat blasting. That's weird. The gas is full. I'll, I'll call them back later. Well, maybe they can help with the car. And we can tell them about our first matches. No. Hey, it's Red. You're on speaker. Oh, hi there. Are you visiting Denver at college? What? Uh, now's not really a good time. Why? Is something wrong? Are, are you having car trouble? Yeah, we are. How, how'd you know that? Just hang up. Cut the crap. We remotely disabled the SUV because we know you're not at school. And we're pretty sure you never were. We got an alert about a substantial charge in Canada for something called Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And then after we looked into it, we discovered charges for the past few months, including a crazy hotel bill, gas, food, clothes, you name it. Do you know how disappointed I was when I realized I was going to have to return all those reward points? I was this close to a free trip. This close! It is not about the stupid points. We were hoping you'd come clean on your own about all of this, but I guess you're just gonna keep on lying. Hey, wait. Look, this is what I want to do with my life, and no matter how many times I told you that, you still didn't support me. So I was pretty much forced to lie. Would you rather I be miserable at school? Of course not, but you have to be realistic. You are never going to make it as a pro wrestler. There's a better chance of me dating a supermodel. Frank! Which is impossible because your mom is stunning, <laughs> and I would never date anyone else. I will make it, and when I do, you'll wish you would have had my back before I was successful and famous. It's not too late to try to put all this behind us. We'll activate the SUV if you come home now. Then I can try to get you re-enrolled in school for next semester. You're gonna have to ship the car home, because I'm staying here to pursue my dreams. Maybe someday you'll understand that. Hey, wait! What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed. I'd rather that happen than talk to you right now. Leave me alone. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. We set out to do this together, and this doesn't change anything. I mean, other than the fact we now don't have a car or somewhere to sleep, but you know what I mean. I still want to do this if you do. I appreciate your loyalty, but you lied to your parents and me about what we were doing here. And you basically sat back and let me steal from them. Don't worry about the money. I'll pay them back. And I'm sorry, but you've always told me to take the advice from my birth parents' letter, right? About following my dreams? Well, that's all I was trying to do. You didn't need to lie to do that. It's the only way I could see this working. But I'll never keep a secret from you again, I promise. From now on, it's total honesty between the two of us, okay? You're gonna know everything, even how many times a month I shave my toes. You shave your toes? Weird. See? I'm an open book. So, no more secrets, okay? I know he said no more secrets, but you can't tell him ours. It will ruin him. Okay. No more secrets. So now what do we do? We're carless and without the credit card. Pretty soon we'll be homeless. I think our only option is to hit the road and try to make some money on the indies. But we'll have to start roughing it like actual up and coming wrestlers. You think we have enough cash for a new car? I wouldn't say new. We managed to get a used car that fell under our budget, probably because it also fell under various recalls and safety violations. Do we stick our phones in this slot? Nothing's happening. I think that's a tape deck. This car doesn't exactly have the latest features. Roughing it, remember? Right. So I'm assuming there's no Bluetooth. No, but I did find an actual tooth in the trunk. Shark or human? Human, I think. Lame. 
Well, now that we have our extremely safe and luxurious ride that may or may not have had a body in the trunk at some point, where to? We do have Wrestle in Memphis on the list. Assuming this piece of junk can make it that far, then I guess we're headed to the great state of South Carolina. That is where Memphis is, right? Close. Maybe I should drive. It's fine. I got this. Is that also a feature on older cars? Nope. Don't think so. 